Trey Gowdy, uh, back on October 7th of, of this year, this is a, a week ago, he, he uh, sent a public letter to Elijah Cummings publicly. In other words, it really wasn't a letter to Elijah Cummings. It was a letter to you and me, Trey Gowdy, the head of the uh, Benghazi committee, to Elijah Cummings, the uh, number two person on the, on the committee, because he's, de- he's the head Democrat on the committee. And he wrote, um, he's talking about Sid Blumenthal, who's a friend of Hillary Clinton's. And he writes, in one email, Blumenthal writes, Tyler spoke to a current uh, a colleague currently at CIA who told him the agent had been independent for intelligence from blank, uh, redacted. This information, uh, the name of a human source, is some of our most protected information in our intelligence community, the release of which could jeopardize not only national security, but also har- human lives. Armed with that information, Secretary Clinton forwarded the email to a colleague, debunking her claim that she sent any classified information from her private email address. So here's Trey Gowdy saying to Elijah Cummings in a public letter for the world to read. Hillary Clinton released the name or it didn't even release it, actually. It just ran through her email account. There's no evidence that anything that ran through her email account has appeared anywhere else that it was ever successfully hacked. But Trey Gowdy saying, look at this. This is this is terrible. So the CIA says, no, Gowdy is lying. My words. Here's the actual words of the CIA. According to a committee to committee correspondence reviewed by Newsweek, the CIA, this is actually this, I'm quoting Newsweek here about the CIA. The CIA did tell the Benghazi panel on Saturday that it had reviewed 127 emails between Clinton and her close friend and outside advisor, Sidney Blumenthal, and none of it was deemed classified. The CIA reviewed the material in question in a form state that it required no redactions. So the CIA looks at all this stuff, says there's nothing classified here. You don't even have to redact anything if you're going to release this. Here you go, Mr. Gowdy. And then Gowdy goes out and says, oh, there's secret information in here. Hillary Clinton is committing treason. Not quite that, you know, but you get the point. You think that he's not, you know, that this is not a purely partisan, purely political committee? It's amazing. It's amazing. 